And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. Last time we entered the mutant army base. Um, and we were, we were struggling to get through these uh, force fields. As it turns out, you can just, yeah, you can get past these for force fields simply by walking through them. Dealing, yeah, a little bit of damage to you, but nonetheless. Um, you can just walk through them. Even though strangely, I'm, I'm actually definitely sure that you can destroy these force field emit emitters using explosives. However, I didn't la work last time, so yeah. You can also just walk through them. Um, another thing... Yeah, that I did or rather didn't do last time. We actually partly screwed up this mission already. In the sense that... Um, could have gotten at least 3000 points of experience. Um, and some help. If we would have gone to the Bubble of Steel before entering the space. Technically we could still go back there and talk to the elders, but um, yeah, I just decided that we would do this on our own. Um, yeah, you can get, you can basically talk to General Maxon and then he will get, give you, yeah, free uh, paladins that will help you out and You know what? Let's actually do this. Um, yeah. Let's actually go back and talk to the elders. And let's get these paladins um, to help us infiltrate the space. Okay, the game didn't crash, um, which is a good thing. Yeah, um, I think we need to put this weapon away. Uh, yeah, General Maxim. What do you got? I saw that ba 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 I saw their base. It's crawling with mutants. Finally. Well, this will get the elders off their butts. We'll fortify the fortress and surprise those damn mutants. Um, I think you can't play defense on this one, Maxon. So, uh, what is your alternative? Mm, well, it's obvious something needs to be done. It would be best if we attack these mutants before they attack us. We're going to need the elders on our side for this one. Mm, not a bad plan. Tell you what, let me go try and beat it into the elders. No guarantees, but I'll try. Okay. The elders have called a meeting. They wish you to meet them in the conference room right away. Okay, thank you. Let us go to the conference. Yeah, we we earned 1,500 points of experience for doing that alone. And now we will get another 1,500 points of experience. And more importantly, yeah, we got we get some paladins that will help us. The meeting will come to order. All elders are present, and we have agreed to hear out the claims of Brother Mr. Man. We shall determine what actions will be taken. Brother Mr. Man, tell us what you have seen to the north. During my explorations, I found a military installation being used by mutants. It is heavily guarded and patrolled regularly. And what did this? And what did these mut? Blah. And what did these mutants look like? They were big, greenish, and carrying weapons. No, they are large humanoids. Their muscle mass is beyond is well beyond what a regular human could ever gain. There appears to be several of them guarding the gate in organized troops. As you may know, our head scribe Vri 
has just done an autopsy on a creature very similar to what you have just described. Do you believe these are the same? Yes, the description of the creature is nearly identical. What threat do you assume these mutants pose? Just as the Brotherhood has been preparing up for a battle, this mutant army has been preparing for something big. Hmm. Frankly, your report has not shown us any proof that they are a threat to us. What proof can you give that they are have hostile intentions? Um... For instance, they invaded Necropolis. So, by these actions they are taking, it is feasible that they will eventually come here. It is possible that they are already are on their way here. The Brotherhood is the only real opposition they could have. What do you suggest? A preemptive strike at their military base? Yes. I don't want them to know we are coming though. A small team would stand a better chance of getting into the perimeter without being detected. So be it. You shall have three paladins of my choosing to meet you at the military base to help you get inside. Elders, thank you for your time. Best luck, best of luck to you, initiate. And we got another 1000 points of experience for convincing the Brotherhood of Steel to help us out. Yeah, um... Um, and now when we return to um, the military base, hopefully um, free paladins, free paladins should appear. Okay. Uh, yeah, they are. They are somehow they somehow just magically appear. They are not um, actually following us from the base. I hope that the game don't crash. Walking on the moon. I hope that the game don't crash. Ah, yeah. Okay, they... Fortunately, they have spawned. Um, was a bit worried there uh, that they might... bug out somehow. Um, okay. So, um, yeah. About these force fields. Um, okay, you, you can't really talk to them. Um, Yeah, okay, they will just... Okay, they are actually smart enough to wait there. Or not. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> okay. Ah, shit. Um, okay, um, he, doesn't, he hasn't spotted us. Okay. So this was... Um, the... Power armor and especially the hardened power army power armor provides a very good protection against basically yeah everything um, except for explosions. So you don't want to actually uh, don't want to actually um, yeah get a rocket to the face like I just got there. Cause that hurts. That really hurts. Okay. Um, let us go for an aimed shot. Uh, hmm. Okay, I might as well take some rockets. Okay, I can't. Um, you know what? Could you please stand back? Then I'm going to take it. Ah, shit. I forgot that I can't... You can't do that. Um, well, let's just, I guess, 
walk through it. Ah, and we gained a level. Um, and we have have hacked. We have gained. Yeah, for we've hacked this um, computer. Apparently, therefore we got eight hundred points of experience, which got us a level. Um, we'll pump this into energy weapons. Okay. Um, Okay, uh... Hmm... I will actually put this into... Wait, will I put this into... So it's 14%. Well... I think I'm going to put this into sneaking. Um... Yeah. Can't actually um, shut down the force fields from here. Nope. Hmm. Okay, he's only carrying um, a plasma rifle, I think. So that's not a big problem. Can you use your use the science skill on this computer? No. Okay. Um Can I use my science skill on this access terminal? Um maybe just try it again. Uh, who, was hit, who, blah, who was hit for 12 points? Hmm. Hmm. Robo Brain was hit for 12. Wait. Maybe it is actually not the force field force field emitter that you have to destroy about these terminals. Um, hmm. Actually, wait. Okay, yeah. Uh, don't. Okay, let me think. Um, so if you, yeah. Hmm. I think we need to go through this one again. Um, for some reason, well, okay, one of the paladins is female, but, so there were three paladins when we entered this area, but now there are only two. Um, did I just leave one of the paladins outside? <clears throat> I think so. Um, hmm. Let's actually give him. Um, wait. Hmm. Let's let's use a met, not a met hypo. I keep saying met hypo, but that's a different game. Um. Stim pack, yeah. Let's use a stim pack on him. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, are you still wounded, sir? You are actually still wounded. Hmm. Are you still wounded? Okay, he's unhurt. Uh, wounded? Yeah, that's a female. It sort of bothers me. Blah. It sort of bothers me that I left one of the paladins outside. Um, well, anyway, when we'll come back, folks, we will continue to infiltrate the base. Until next time, folks. Until then.